Serious tension erupts across the country as police receive an unexpected message to arrest Buhari and send him to prison. There is no doubt this is a very serious matter. Anyway, let us quickly hear the details of the report. Shewu Ghazali Sadiq, an advocate for good governance and a public opinion commentator, has called for the arrest of former President Muhammadu Buhari in a post shared on S and cited by the latest news blog, Sadiq referred to the former president, the person of Muhammadu Buhari, as a weak leader and a failure. He emphasized that Muhammadu Buhari played a role in enabling President Bola Ahmed Tinibu to manipulate and rig the 2023 presidential election, thus undermining the democratic process. According to Sadiq, he said he laughed when people said Buhari never wanted Tinibu to be president of Nigeria, and that is not correct. That is not a good notion that Buhari fully support and play a very crucial role to allow President Bola Tinibu to rig the election. According to Sadiq, Buhari is both a weakling and a failure who enabled President Bola Tinibu to rig the 2023 election. And so, Buhari should be in jail. Talking about Bola Tinibu, Sadiq went further to allege that the president is terrorizing the country. According to Sadiq, he said what you have in Nigeria is best described as economic terrorism. Tinibu is terrorizing Nigerians economically. Who will rescue, who will rescue Nigeria now? In another report, the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, has strongly criticized Abdul Aziz, Abdul Aziz, the senior special assistant to President Bola Tinibu on print media, following his recent comments on the fuel price increase in Nigeria. The Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, described Abdul Aziz's remarks as misleading and accused him of either suffering from selective anemia or a lack of focus. The disagreement stems from the recent decision by the Nigeria's National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, to raise the pump price of petrol to 855 naira per liter at its filling stations. This adjustment has sparked widespread concern with the Nigerian Labour Congress NLC accusing the government of breaking an agreement made with labor unions. According to the NLC, this agreement was reached before the acceptance of a new minimum wage of 70,000 naira for Nigerian workers. In a statement, on Tuesday, the NLC president, Joe Ajaro, explained that 
the union had agreed to the 70,000 Naira minimum wage based on the government's assurance that fuel price would not be increased. However, this recent hike in fuel price had, they believe, contradicts that understanding and represents a betrayal of trust. Responding to the claim, Abdul Aziz, Abdul Aziz, speaking on behalf of President Bola Tinibu, denied that any such promises was made. He argued that the president never assured labor leaders that fuel price would remain unchanged in the future. This denial has only deepened the rift between the government and the labor union of Nigeria. In a counter statement issued on Wednesday by Benson Upa, the NLC heads of information and public affairs, the union reaffirmed its stance, insisting that the agreement with the government was clear. Upa accused Abdul Aziz of trying to distort the truth, calling his denial dubious. He also warned the presidential aide against making personal attacks on Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC President Joe Azaro. Hooper further criticized the government's head handling of the situation, urging it to respect the right of Nigerian citizens. He emphasized that Nigerians deserve a decent and dignified life, free from unnecessary hardships, harassment, and intimidation. The NLC statement ended with a call for the presidency to stop misleading the public, reminding them that falsehood cannot stand the taste of time. This ongoing dispute highlights the growing tension between the government and the labor union with the issue of fuel price and workers' welfare at the center of the controversy. As the debate continues, Nigerians are left grappling with the impacts of rising costs on their daily lives. So guys, what are your takes on this? Kindly drop your comment on the comment section below. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to Bliss channel.